Welcome to the Pennsylvania Small Business Development Center Guide to Sustainability. The following presentation is an overview of the Pennsylvania Small Business Advantage Grant and the Energy Star Portfolio Manager platform. We hope that the following presentation will help you to maximize the triple bottom line for energy efficiency and pollution prevention projects. The Small Business Advantage Grant program is made possible by the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. This program is designed to improve the economic and environmental health of Pennsylvania by saving money for small businesses and minimizing their impact on the state's natural resources. The contents for this presentation include a timeline for the Small Business Advantage Grant program, potential solutions and savings, applying for the grant, project implementation, management and follow-ups, and more project resources. The best time to identify a project for the Pennsylvania Small Business Advantage Grant is typically a few months before the summer. The Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection starts accepting applications between mid to late summer. A completion report for your project will be due the following summer. The one-year follow-up report, which covers annual savings and energy efficiency, pollution prevention, and cost savings, will be due a year after the completion report. The Small Business Advantage Grant Program provides grants for equipment and processes that achieve energy efficiency or pollution prevention. Efficiency lighting, air sealing, and material recycling are simple solutions that businesses can implement to realize immediate results. There are many energy efficiency and pollution prevention technologies that businesses can implement to realize solutions and savings. Some of them include waste heat exchangers and capture systems and water conservation and recycling systems. Environmental and energy management processes are often low-cost solutions that businesses can easily implement to achieve savings. Energy or pollution savings from new equipment or processes must be at least 25% of the system being replaced, and project costs that are incurred after the application are eligible for reimbursement. A potential grant applicant must be a for-profit small business. New businesses or facilities are also eligible for the grant. Businesses attached to residences are not eligible unless the building has separate utility meters, customer entrance, and commercial zoning. When applying for a grant, a business can use government tools and calculators to determine future environmental benefits and to calculate the cost and savings of a project. The EPA, Energy Star, and Pennsylvania SBDC have calculators that can help businesses to set targets, generate savings, and visualize data. In order to apply for a grant, a small business must have an employee identification number, a Pennsylvania vendor ID number, and an IRS W-9 form. Eligible projects will likely be notified 60 days after application submission. Projects selected for funding will receive a grant agreement six weeks after approval notification. Projects must be completed within 180 days of grant agreements. A project completion report is required. The following tips will help you to create a project summary. Define the context of your business and why you are interested in energy efficiency or pollution prevention. Briefly describe the old equipment or management system and its impact on the business. Summarize conversations with your subcontractors about potential upgrades or replacements. Estimate annual environmental and economic benefits. A subcontractor can help to identify superior equipment, provide quotes, and install equipment. For example, a former EMAP client used a subcontractor to replace an old and inefficient gas-fired boiler with a more efficient Energy Star rated boiler. In addition to the 50% project cost savings, the EMAP client also projected $3,573 in annual cost savings in a payback period of 2.4 years. Furthermore, the upgrade was estimated to produce 1,403 tons of annual emission reductions from energy efficiency. Understand state regulations concerning emissions, identify permits for maintaining compliance, and search the market for equipment or processes that reduce emissions. For example, replacing an old third generation dry cleaning system with a new fourth to fifth generation system can provide substantial improvements in perk recovery and pollution prevention monitoring. 
Case studies show that replacing transfer equipment or converting to closed loop machines can save up to 70% of perk use and pay back the investment in as little as three years. The one year follow-up report is due 13 months after project completion. In the report, you describe equipment problems, business changes that altered equipment performance, and also calculations for pollution prevention and energy efficiency. You should also include the paperwork from your Energy Star Portfolio Manager account. If your project involves the consumption of energy or water, you can use Energy Star Portfolio Manager to track the progress of your project. Some of the inputs for your account will include building space and utility information. Your account will also generate documents for your one-year follow-up report. Resources are available from the Pennsylvania DEP, Pennsylvania SPDC, Energy Star Portfolio Manager, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, U.S. Department of Energy, and U.S. Department of Agriculture. This presentation was produced to provide practical information for small businesses. All efforts have been made to provide accurate information, but this does not constitute a legal responsibility for accuracy or completeness. References to any public or private entities do not imply an endorsement of associated products or services.